Honor code, take one. Awesome. Can you recite the honor code? No. <laughs> Can you recite the honor code? A Hillsdale College student is honorable indeed. Frick. Okay. Is honorable in word and deed. A Hillsdale College student is honorable in word and deed. Line. So, Michelle will probably know it. A Hillsdale yeah. College student is honorable in conduct, honest in word and deed, dutiful in study and service. And he uh, attends classes. Freedom, because the liberal arts, and respectful of the rights of others. Brushing your teeth. It's good to brush your teeth, people. He's not late to meetings. Okay, I need my next line, please. Rising to education. No. Can you recite the honor code? Yes, I can. A Hillsdale College student is honorable in conduct, honest in word and deed, dutiful in study and service, and respectful of the rights of others through education a student rises to self-government. Nice. Thanks. Wow. <laughs> I, uh, I have to be able to do it for my job. That's how we start all of our meetings, we recite the honor code. I'm a you know, senior class secretary. I need to have these things memorized. <laughs> it's incredible how these things, like, how the words of the honor code, how I don't remember the specific phrasing, but like it's integrated into my life. When I first heard that Hillsdale had an honor code, it was at Dr. Arn's speech that he gave at the beginning of the year. And it was a pretty like strange, sort of interesting thing that I'm not really used to having like codes, you know, given to me. I went to a public high school, so we never had anything like that. I think I was on like a little tour around campus and we were down by the cafeteria and they said something about, oh yeah, people just leave their backpacks and their MacBooks and their wallets and their phones everywhere because we have an honor code so no one touches anything. I had never heard anything like an honor code ever, especially around a college campus. The first time I heard that Hillsdale had an honor code, my older brother came here. Uh, when I heard that, I was like, okay, he's going to a word school. Um, but that's what I expected. He's a weird guy. The first time I was on campus hearing Dr. Arn talk about the honor code and uh, the good, the true, and the beautiful, and I cried. I cried <laughs> during that lecture. It was a little pathetic, but it wasn't like as dramatic as I am. You know, it's just like a little, little tear. The honor code just like permeates out into like everything that we do. Like you can see it in the classroom, in the way that we respect our professors, in the way that we respect other students, in the way that we do our homework, in the way that like we want to help one another and we don't cheat and we don't, um, we're not cutthroat, we're not trying to like tear other students down or like manipulate them, but we're like want to help one another and do it like in a way that's honest and truthful. Yeah, I think when you view it as a list of rules, you miss out on all the good parts. When it's a way of life, you choose things because you love them and because you see them as actually meaningful and beneficial to you, not because you have to. It gains meaning and it becomes personal. Coming to college and being independent, you are away from your parents. You have a blank sheet to develop friends and develop a reputation. So taking ownership of that was very important. It took me a while to develop that, that ownership. Another phrase you hear all the time at Hillsdale is that college is partnership. When you are aiming at such a high ideal, wanting to be people of excellence and virtue, you can't do that alone. So having a community of people that hold you to a standard, that encourage you, that love you, that teach you, that's powerful. I think the best way to take ownership of who you're going to be in your four years here is to find a community of, of your peers that can hold you accountable. And that when you have to make those tough choices, not only you're holding yourself accountable to something that the college expects you to do, but you're also holding yourself accountable to a set of standards that another community at this campus has put forward for you to, to live up to. Some of the relationships that you're going to build in the first three months at college, you're going to be like, how did I not know these people my entire life? And with that, you have to recognize the strength that is found in those relationships. And you have to be willing to, to call people out with certain things and understand that you want to be the type of friend to other people that you would like them to be to you. Friendship really comes to a head when there's conflict or you know that your friend would be hurt if you spoke truth. I think in those moments, it's selfish as a friend to just tell them what's comfortable, to preserve your friendship now and hurt them in the long run. 
And it shows real true bravery to stand up and help somebody in their time of need. And it kind of shows the exact opposite, that, that cowardice. If you're, if you're kind of shrinking away from something that looks wrong or, you know, oh, okay, maybe I should say something, but I mean, he, you know, they probably know what they're doing, but no. If you see something wrong, it's step up and say something and stand up for yourself and stand up for others that need it. There's certainly a lot of shenaniganery that goes on, um, but we do hold each other to be, um, to be honorable. It is something integral to the very fabric of what Hillsdale is. We have a lot of responsibilities here and sometimes we subject ourselves to this we're still children because we're still in college idea or it's our only chance to act like kids which means reckless and making mistakes that you're going to act like you don't regret for the rest of your life and honor matters because when you are honorable, you are unified. You don't have a dissonance between what you want to be and what you are. It's the little pieces every day that you choose. It's decisions, 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 and they, they shape you and they form you, and that is what makes you honorable in all of the things that are outlined in our honor code. I think the person I want to be when I leave here is, is somebody that I looked up to when I was a freshman. They exhibited traits of, of a man to me when I was a young man. They showed what it meant to approach work dutifully. They showed what it meant to stick by your word. And seeing those things exemplified in somebody older than me, I wanted to emulate those people when I was younger. And I think that's just an amazing thing that we get here. I think it's all about trust. The faculty and staff trusting the students, and then the students trusting the faculty and staff. And when those two things come together, then like, it's, you, you can't see it until you, like, you just like, trust and you have faith and then something really beautiful comes of that. The character is important because it is life. Um, because it's how you interact with the world. Because it's who you are. So making sure you have good character is something that's incredibly important because it is, I mean, yeah, it, it is you. A Hillsdale College student is honorable in conduct honest in word and deed, dutiful in study and service, and respectful of the rights of others, rising to education. No, yes, through education, rising to self-government. Yes. Did I get it? Oh. oh man, I memorized it last night. No. <laughs>